Hello, Leo, and welcome to Your Future, Your Life, 2022 mid-year reading from Planet Waves. My name is Eric Francis Coppolino, your astrologer for this journey. Welcome. Before I get into the specific astrology at this time in your life, which I plan to take out to around March of 2022, three, rather, we're in 2022. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the astrological significance of the sign Leo, which is probably your sun sign or your rising sign or that of someone uh, close to you. Uh, Leo is one of the most venerated of all the astrological signs. Uh, by that, I mean as it is treated in the, in, in the classical literature, uh, it, it is the home of the star Regulus, which is also called Alpha Leonis. Uh, it, it is the sign, so Regulus is the star of the king, uh, the, li the lion being w one of the most venerated creatures of the jungle and the king of, of the beasts. Um, it, is, it is the sign of the sun. Uh, it is the sign of high summer here in the, in the northern hemisphere. Um, it, it is one of the fixed signs of the zodiac, meaning uh, that it is um, w w one of the, well, it's not one of the four directions, but it, it is, there's a second set of four directions which are illustrated in the tarot card of the world and, and also in the, in the book of Revelation. And so the, the lion is one of the most uh, sacred symbols of, uh, of, of humanity including all crazy parts of the world. Uh, it is the sign associated with the sun. It is ruled by the sun. It's the sign associated with the element gold and therefore of all things of permanent value. And in terms of the human experience, it, it, is, the, it is the sign associated with the heart and the heart center. So if you're teaching the Doctrine of Signatures, Leo is a, is a great place to start uh, because uh, there, there are, uh, th there's this chain of associations that is just so beautiful and, uh, and, and so easy to w work with and, and see the connections between. <laughs> 